In May 2013, Luca Pamitano from Italy blasted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a Russian Soyuz launcher. A former test pilot, he had joined ESA's astronaut corps just four years earlier and was now embarking upon his first space flight. Known as Volare, the mission to the International Space Station lasted for 166 days. In 2013, I was a rookie. I was there to uh, get out of the training and out of the flight as much as possible. I was constantly asking questions. I was asking my colleagues for mentorship. I think that my test pilot background and in general flying background really helped me with what's called crew resource management or CRM for short. During the mission, Luca undertook two spacewalks or EVAs. The first one was completed successfully with Luca and NASA's Chris Cassidy installing power cables, retrieving research samples and carrying out several maintenance tasks. However, the second EVA was dramatically cut short when a water leak threatened to drown Luca inside his helmet. I can feel it in the back of my head. He managed to reach the safety of the ISS airlock unharmed. Since then, his spaceflight experience has been a valuable resource to others and has helped him to anticipate the challenges ahead as he trains for the next mission. It's been six years since my first flight. I have had a lot of different roles in the meantime. I was an instructor astronaut. I was uh, uh, back in an administration role. I've been developing procedural work as a, uh, in the EVA office. I've done a lot of different things. And then I come back in the meantime, the space station has evolved, the program has evolved, the spacecraft has evolved. Sports activities such as cycling, running and swimming play an important part in Luca's life and he's a keen Ironman competitor. Maintaining a fitness program in orbit will ensure that his body is able to readjust quickly to life on Earth after months of weightlessness. His multilingual skills are another asset to his astronaut career. As an Italian, French and English speaker, he's also fluent in Russian, which is essential for both his training and his upcoming role as flight engineer on board Soyuz and the ISS. My Soyuz commander is also a pilot, so it was very easy for me to get in sync with him and communicate what's going on with the spacecraft. Uh, I had to add Russian to my, to my uh, bag of tools uh, so that I could develop a good communication skills with my commander. But uh, the, the training is done in such a way that uh, towards the end you really have a very good understanding of the role that you and the commander are going to uh, interpret during, during the flight. At 42 years old, Luca Pamitano is already a highly experienced astronaut and he's looking forward to working in space again. In the first week of October, he will become space station crew commander for the remainder of his mission. Taking on this privileged role will give Luca the chance to share his knowledge with his crewmates in microgravity and immerse himself in a whole host of new challenges.